Welcome to another training video from Computer Tutoring. This time we're going to look, have a look at creating relationships in Power Pivot. So what's the point of that? Well, first of all, if you want to follow on in, along with this exercise, make sure that uh, you download the Power Pivot Relationships exercise file from the Computer Tutoring website. Now, first of all, when you import a model or a database into Power Pivot, uh, it tries to take account of the relationships between tables. But if it doesn't, if there is, are no relationships between the tables that you import, then you'll have to create them yourself. So first of all, we go to Power Pivot tab in Excel. If you don't know how to install it, please see the installation video. Click on Manage. And I can see I've already uh, imported two tables. This is from an Access database. Should already be within the file. Now, please make note. Uh, here, we have a table that's got fact internet sales and it's got a product key showing all the times a certain product has sold. And if we look at dim products, then we can see all the separate products. But at the moment, the tables are not related. So if I run a DAX uh, expression or a calculated field or a calculation in a column, the information I get back is not going to be accurate. So before we do anything, we must relate the tables. And this is how we do it. What I want you to do is click on diagram view on the top right hand corner up here, give that one a click, and you can see the two tables in the diagram view. You can adjust the tables, make them bigger and smaller, etc. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to just adjust it. You don't have to, just adjust it so the dim product is to the right of that internet sales. Notice here these two keys. So this is the product key, which distinguishes every unique product within our database. And this product key is what's known as a foreign key. Basically, it's listing every time a product has been sold. Needless to say that when you set up the data, you need to make sure that every time we use product key in the product table, that uh, it is unique. So basically, you drag from one key to the other, wait for it a little bit, and then the information, it's related. In fact, if you just hover over the line, give it a click, you can see that the information is related. So now we can use certain DAX functions like the relate function and the related table function, uh, as well as various calculate functions to draw information, which you'll see in further videos. Thanks very much for watching.